All right, three, two, one, start. Going to look at this uh, cockeyed and crooked. So, um, Mela, Malas, Malas. All right, it is a form of dementia. What is a form of dementia? When we go into it, there are types. Uh, I do not know this. It's journal terms from memory loss, mental abilities, uh, severe enough to affect life. What are some? These are four types. These are the four types. Excuse me. And you can see five. Okay. So ah 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 ah. Somebody can't can count. Whoever wrote this is suffering a little bit. And this is the whole point. I mean, that's beautiful. The most common. What are the four types? And then these are the most common five types. What would make them think that five types, when they already wrote four, would be reasonable? So I'm going to show how this affects the frontal lobe and it's going to affect reason. Uh, so when we get into the frontal or temporal, right? Uh, well, this is because frontal temporal dementia. All right, and it's of the brain, of course, areas of right, affecting personality, behavior, and language. Early signs of frontal, frontal temporal dementia may include the evolve, involve the following apathy or a unwillingness to talk. Now imagine you're angry with somebody and you you're already right and you're right a change in personality, right? Lack of inhibition. Observe or repetitive behavior, such as compulsive shaving. Think about this society and how you must present yourself on the terms of how someone else will accept you. Does that not go against everything you're taught as a child? Well, they're all doing it. Well, if they all jumped off a bridge, where'd you go? Someone said to me, shave your beard, <laughs> trim your beard, something like that, right? Again, man, there is a biblical law, do not trim your beard to corner it. Why does that law exist? If, if you literally have this, and of course there are more, and these are just early signs. But this is the signs that somebody else has piled, compiled together, and we don't know if this is the person that compiled this as well. These are four types, but they're going to list five. And that doesn't really make sense when it, that's that's what we would call basic math. So when we get into frontal and temporal lobes, this blue area is the frontal lobe. If you got into a car crash, right, you would smack that frontal lobe. The temporal is one underneath. Right here. The temporal lobes located below and to the side of the frontal lobe on the right and left side of the brain contain essential areas for memory that also play a major role in emotions or lack of emotions in language or apathy. I don't want to talk to you. The lack of desire of communication, even though that's not the definition of apathy. Apathy has to do with feelings. Lack of interest. Lack of enthusiasm. Empathy is feeling. Right? Complete lack of emotion. That doesn't sound correct. I thought empathy has having feelings. 
All right, def definition of empathy, complete lack of emotion or motivation about a person, activity, or an object or depression. Okay, so there you have that. Uh, what is the cause? Oh, duh. <laughs> Shit. That's because I didn't even know epathy was a word. Like, I just, I just can't believe that. Apathy. All right, apathy is having no interest, and empathy is, of course, having feelings for another. This is going to lead to batteries, so I'm going to have to put that there. And All right, so. If you didn't catch on, that will be the next one. Frontal lobe, again, language and emotions. They help people to understand, speak, read, write, connect. All right, so. Again, this is going to get not so hard when we look at things that groups have. Dealing with temporal. Now, look, notice what it says. It says temper lobe, but we call it the temporal. There we have it. The initial sequencing of the Neanderthal genome summarily unearthed or shortened anterior extension of the temporal lobe. Isn't that fucking backwards? Shortened extension? <laughs> extension is to make something bigger. Shorten is smaller. There's a fucking conflict of interest in that description. All right. So I'm going to just go over this. I'm going to do the man. Everybody saw Man Mary's Dog. Okay. Do I have that over here? No. no. We'll get to that. Again, you're a temporal, right? Apathy. I don't want to deal with. What makes somebody point apathy towards man should be marrying what? This should say woman, right? Man marries woman, right? So here we have man marries cat. Mm. Believe it or not, I'm coming on in. I've never thought it could be so real. No. And, you know, I have no idea if these are for love, for a legal reason, to mock or taunt God. I I I don't know. I am not the mind that says this is reasonable. So They're, 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 uh, see, when you read these things, it's just ridiculous because, again, the car is not something that can consent. The pizza is not something that can consent. Uh, the cat is not something that can consent. So it becomes ridiculous to me and you but to someone else who is experiencing something in their mind 
right? What is this to them? So here you just put this, and okay, somebody said, hey, this is reasonable. And I just hit it on that one, right? That's disgusting. Adopted daughter. Here's a man with a doll. Here's a man with a bigger doll. Here's a man with another deluxe. Here. Now look. LOL. <laughs> when everybody else does it, right? Bodybuilder vows to marry his something doll. Ew. 35 year old man, right? Eh, melanated person. Ha ha ha, we got him. Right? That's what they do. What the? F that is just not. Hey, wow. Oh. What could ever happen that somebody would do something like that? I, I, oh, I hope that's a toy. I hope that's not somebody that has been, I hope they're not desecrating a body with that. That is, wow. <sighs> Here's a guy with a pillow. That doesn't seem that interesting. It's not much different than a doll. Uh, again, what would make some okay? So it's just, it's a robotic doll now. It changed, right? So it's it's very it's very interesting. Now it even gets more interesting when you see these people that have melanin that do it. And I'll explain to you why. Like this person that they show over and over again and his brothel of synthetic robots. Oh, I have no idea. Is this with a robot one? No, that's just dolls. So again, when it gets to robots, you have to have a high price to get them to move. Dave Cat's on there. I guess that's his name. <laughs> My God. See, Zhang built himself. Uh, this is an anime hologram. So the power goes out and I cannot find my wife. She's self oh, sun battery. So when we go further, we take go to the top we take man marries we right click search google for now we just add a name what are they going to offer us this is disgusting man marries his daughter now you start to see prison pictures because this is illegal oops i didn't want to do it that way uh Right click, search. You go in here. Now, again, we've already seen dog. Man marries himself, hologram. All right, so we are at a uh, standstill with that. Ah, that is disgusting. It's a doll, but it's still really disgusting. It looks so freaking real. All right. Woman marries a chandelier. Wait, let's go this way. This way, it just it's more insane when you go down. It sounds more and more unrealistic. And again, dementia is a form of insanity. Where it affects your emotions. It affects your willingness to want to participate with different things whether it's one or many woman marries doll woman marries herself woman marries a dog woman marries tree people have seen that 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 video is online woman who marries herself then 
What does she do? That's weird. Woman marries Eiffel Tower. Ah, but it's so public. Woman marries Tetris. How? It's not reasonable. And of course, to top it off, just woman marries a chandelier. I just don't even understand. Like, never mind. I do now. Wow. Again, Freemason Barbara uh, wants to marry the six spike chandelier that's just <sighs> Hiya Hiya I get it I understand why <sighs> Oh